all. I've just charged up my new Median eraser for the first time, and I'm just going to turn it on and, um, yeah, get to grips with loading up all the software and take it from there. When you first put in the power pack and charge up, you'll get a little orange light there. So, yeah, just charge it up until it turns off, and it's much better for the battery. So, um, yeah, it's looking pretty snazzy fast first looks you've got the keyboard that lights up the multicolored keyboard you can actually turn that off as well if it's something that you're not interested in seeing but uh yeah we'll do this in a few stages and uh yeah just get it all loaded up see what happens all the software's already on the computer you've just got to get it all initiated and started up so yeah we'll give that a minute and then we'll come back to the uh the loading up of all the software, which is uh, Windows 11 Home. Okay, so here we go. It's just all initiating. So, um, yeah, right. Well, I'm in the United Kingdom, so we we'll choose English, United Kingdom. Give it a click and see what happens next. Is this the right country of region? Yes, it certainly is. This is the right keyboard layout or input method. If you're also use another keyboard layout you can add that next so yeah we'll go for the united kingdom keyboard do you want to add a second keyboard layout let's skip that because i don't and let's connect to a network so yeah I'm just gonna connect here but uh, i'll pause here while i put the password in keep some of my passwords in i'm just gonna click next so that's just going to log on to my Wi-Fi network. Shouldn't take too long. Verifying and connecting. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so passwords in. I'm just letting it check for updates. So there's going to be plenty of those to go through. But yeah, it all seems really straightforward as usual. Uh, of course, you can put in your own settings if um, you don't want to go with the custom settings that are already set up. So, uh, yeah, it's just a case of uh, selecting yes or no for different things. So, making sure you have the latest version. Please keep your PC on. Yeah, it's nicely charged. Yeah, really happy with this so far. It's quite cool, the keyboard, actually. I was thinking it looks a bit silly, a bit childish, but, you know. Yeah, it's quite interesting. So, uh, yeah, sit back and relax while the magic happens. Okie dokie. Okay, so coming back to the video, it's just said that it's going to have to restart the computer to get the software updated. So, um, yeah, here we go. Please keep your computer on. You're 30% there. So this is going to continue for a little bit. Uh, and there, oh, there we go, very quick. So, yeah, it's just restarting, and after that, it'll just be updating your own personal preferences uh, for what you want on the computer. Um, there's thumb recognition, iris scan, all that sort of thing. I, I don't believe in giving away my personal details that readily, even though it happens every day just in a supermarket when you're using self checkouts, when they use face scan and everything to keep us safe, of course. So, um, anyway, yeah, that's all loading up. Raising Median. Can't wait to get this all set up and try it out. So, yeah, here we go. Welcome. Build common. Please review the licensing agree. Wow, how many people do that? Licensing agree will be that you're not going to replicate any of this. Thank you for choosing Microsoft. Da 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 da. Restrictions. Device connection, remote access, and on and on and on and on and on. Okay. Uh, sometimes when you go through these different agreements, you'll have to scroll through to the bottom. Otherwise, you won't be able to um, finalize uh, your acceptance of the software. It doesn't seem to be the case on this occasion, but let's go ahead and accept that. And uh, yeah. See what comes up next. Make it with a unique name. Well, I'm going to pause this for a second to keep it all nice and squeaky clean and quiet for me. So, yeah, back in a moment.
Okay, that's that in. So yeah, it's just going forward again. Just a moment. Okay, back to the arrays and median screen. Yeah, uh, this costs just over twenty three hundred pounds for this. Um, this version of the Median Eraser. Uh, I almost got a Dell, um, but pretty much I've got the same specifications on here and a thousand pounds cheaper. So um, yeah, I'm thoroughly happy with my choice here. All right, what have they got for us next? Round and round it goes. You can see little glitches when that circular thing of me bobs going around. So yes, just uploaded something there. So unlock your Microsoft experience. Sign in with your Microsoft account and create the experience you want. Customize preferences, sync content and security settings across devices, and discover products and services relevant to you. Accelerate your device setup. Make your Windows device setup fast and easy by restoring your existing window preferences. Control privacy and subscription preferences across devices. Personalize your Windows experience. Access Microsoft 365 for free. And it says underneath for the free bit, use free versions of your favorite Microsoft 365 productivity apps, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and more, and get a five gigabyte of cloud storage. Uh, here we go, sign in. So I'm just going to pause this again for a second. Okay, so I've put my password in and my email address, and it's just asking to verify your identity. It did say you can use a fingerprint, uh, VPN, etc., um, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to use a code to my mobile phone right now. So hopefully it's going to come through in a second. Right, well, I put in the, uh, the verification code that was sent to my mobile. Um, there's loads of different ways you can do it so yeah I'm just going to go with that um, in case the application or anything stops working in particular then I really need to get into my account I'm just going to stick with getting a pass number to my mobile phone so let's bring your folders apps settings and credentials over from another PC so you can access them right away uh, well I'm not going to do that I'm just going to carry on setting up a new PC myself I want it all nice and fresh. So here we go next. Want to use your face to sign in faster? Absolutely not. Create a pin. So what takes seconds to create and gives you fast and secure sign in? A Windows Hello pin. It only works on your device so it stays off the web. Okay, so I'm going to create a pin and I'm going to pause again. So back in a sec. All right, there goes the pin in. So, right, let's see what comes up next. Let Microsoft and apps use your location. Uh, I'll do that as and when I want to, so that's a no from me. Choose your settings and select accept to save them. Check the learn more link for info on these settings. How to change them. How Windows helps protect you from the unsafe apps and web content and the related data transfers and uses. Turn on find my device. Windows won't be able to help if you select no. Fine by me because I don't intend to, to uh, yeah take this very far. Send diagnostic data. Um, you can do include options. Send info about the websites you browse. Blah blah blah. Or required only. Well, I'm definitely going for required only. You can always change these in the future, of course, in your security preferences. Uh, next step: improve inking and typing. Choose your settings and select accept to save them. So a yes with send optional inking in. Type in diagnostic data to Microsoft to improve the language. Uh, go for no. Get tailored experience with diagnostic data. Choose your settings and select accept. So if I do yes, let's let Microsoft have free roam over everything on your computer. So let's go for a no. Let apps use advertising ID. Choose your settings and select accept again. So yes, apps can use advertising ID to provide more personalized advertising. Well, we get that in every walk of life, every different type of company is trying to sell 
view things using your data and sell your data so that's definitely a no so the next step let's customize your experience select all the ways you plan to use your device to get personalized tips well development is build delightful apps websites and tools for the world i'm not going to be doing that and let ai do that entertainment watch videos browse the web connect on social media uh, there's going to be a time and place for that uh, next is gaming play and discover games not for me thanks school take notes write essays collaborate on projects uh, no i'm going to leave that i left school a very long time ago now creativity bring your ideas to life for photos and videos that's a definite yes business track expenses manage your business chat with customers well that may be something in the very near distant future but for now i'm going to leave that uh, so moving on swiftly family connect with family members edit safety settings give everyone their own profile on this device so i'm just going to set the entertainment and creativity of photos and videos next step Use your phone from your PC. Oh, that sounds interesting. Respond to text messages, make calls and more, blah, blah, blah. Not for me, thank you. Back up your files with OneDrive. I'm not going to back up my files with OneDrive. Continue where you left off by importing from your other browser. Not now for me, thank you. Nice and fresh and brand new. You're in luck, you've landed a free trial of Microsoft 365 Family. Well, I'm going to decline, I don't got no kids. Get more cloud storage, Microsoft 365 Basic, 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, secure app, free email, access to support, experts. Uh, get more cloud storage, Microsoft 365 Basic. Uh, credit card required, that's a nope. Thank you very much. And when they say cloud, it's not a cloud, it's someone else's computer. Next, your device comes with free Xbox, game, Xbox games. No, thank you. Absolute waste of time, I, I think, myself. So, next is checking for updates. Da, 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 da. What do they got for us now? We're installing the latest features. This could take around 30 minutes. Feel free to walk away or play or surf games while you wait. Just make sure to leave your PC on and plugged in. Your update is in progress. We'll take it from here. So yeah, if it can take up to 30 minutes, I'm definitely going to pause for a minute. Well, hello again. Yeah, it said it could take up to 30 minutes to load all of this up, but it was about, I don't know, just over 10 minutes, which is really good. So on to the next stage of checking for updates, which could be, yeah, all sorts. So. Okay, now it's actually back to this again, so it's still on step one of three downloading, but yeah, you can see down here, it's, it's moving along pretty quickly, so uh, yeah, I'll pause the video and come back to it in a minute. It's quite funny actually, as all of this is loading up, it gives you the chance to play on some different games. Uh, this one I've played before, it's pretty silly and pretty basic, but yeah, it does pass the time, especially it works. <laughs> So, um, yeah, surf the waves. What else have they got? Create folders and start. Keep what's important close by grouping your pinned apps in the folder. You can't actually press anything on there. It's just telling you about different features of the computer uh, software. Uh, open games with a single touch. Press a single button on your controller to open the controller bar and jump back into your latest game. Next. Tools for focus. Reduce distractions with focus sessions and do not disturb. See you in a bit. If your update isn't done, it's okay to step away. We'll take care of the rest. Just make sure your PC is plugged in. So yeah, it's at 41%. So yeah, I'll pause and come back. Right, well welcome back ladies and gentlemen. It's all loaded up. I've just put my pin in and yeah, so just getting things ready for you, or for me on this occasion. This may take a few minutes. Well, before I finish the last part of this video, uh, it said it could take up to 30 minutes to upload the software. Now it's actually taken just shy of an hour, but I'd like to remind you that I am only using a Wi-Fi connection uh, that's not plugged in. Um, 
So yeah, um, that's definitely going to have an impact on how long it takes to upload everything. If you've got a hard connection, then it'll be far quicker, no doubt. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's all loading this up now, so I'll pause again and come back. And there we have it, all the software's loaded up onto the uh, laptop. So um, yeah, there's lots of different uh, apps you can choose from. Uh, Microsoft Edge, Word, Excel. Um, I've never used this computer before, so um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of bits and bobs to check out. Um, you've got your little start menu bit down there, that's going to close down the app screen in front of you. Of course, you'll be able to add in different um, apps, take them away. Uh, what I usually do is, uh, when I've got a new laptop, is any software or apps on there that I don't want, things like Norton um, security and that sort of thing, I'll delete it straight away just so it doesn't start playing around with the settings and compromising everything. So I'm just going to have a look on the, the programs and um, see what there is to um, to get rid of. Uh, so let's type in programs and see if we, that brings it up. Program, add or remove program. So here we go. Let's have a look on here. Yeah, there's a fair bit already loaded up. Uh, so yeah, it's really down to your own preference what you want on here. Um, I've got things like McAfee, Live Safe. I'm going to go and uninstall that straight away. It just really plays around with your computer so much. Uh, so do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So uh, it's going to be a yes, so it can delete itself. So uh, it says straight away for OneDrive, your storage is completely full. But um, by deleting emails and things like that, you'll be able to free up some space. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a play round with this and um, just get accustomed to this uh, lovely new computer I've got. So um, anyway, I hope this helps people. And um, yeah, best of luck with your purchase. Thanks, bye.